A mug just like this sold on eBay January 6th for $300. If you aren't living that mug life, listen up. You heard that right. There are mugs that will sell for $300. And I found this one in the Goodwill bins. It has the grossness still. I haven't cleaned it up yet, just to show you. In this video, we're gonna talk about Fire King and which Fire King mugs can command a really good price. If you're new to selling mugs, then this is a really great way to learn. Let's break it down by one mug to look for and build from there. So I'm starting a series of mug videos where we're gonna talk about different mugs that are desirable so you can slowly start building up your repertoire of mugs that you're looking for and not just buying any old cheapy mug that you find out there. Hi, my name is Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. I am a homeschooling, reselling mom that flips things from garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores, the Goodwill bins on eBay and Etsy to help support my family. And if you're new here, welcome. Go down there and hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you're notified when I put out new videos. And as I said, I am planning on doing a series of mug videos just so you can get an idea of different mugs to be looking for because it can be a bit overwhelming when you go in to a thrift store or garage sale and you're not quite sure what to look for. So we're going to start with Fire King and the reason I decided to start with this one is because I just got this mug in the bins like a week or two ago and yes I haven't listed it yet surprisingly uh, but yeah this mug Curse You Red Baron is a Snoopy mug and I hesitate to flip it over. Let me dump out the, the yuck from the inside. So you can see the bottom and then we'll talk about Fire King. It's kind of hard to see. Fire King is an anchor hawking brand of glassware and it originally started in the 40s. And there are lots of different patterns, lots of different advertising mugs, lots of different colors that are desirable. But let's take a look because I wouldn't want you automatically seeing a Fire King mug and thinking, oh yay, this is gonna be worth a ton of money. So we're gonna break it down and I'm gonna show you a few of the different ones that are selling for a lot of money and then talk about ones that maybe are a good pass. So the first style of mug that is a Fire King that I want you to keep your eyes out for are Jadeite mugs. And what those are, they look kind of like a milk glass, but they're green. So let's take a look. I have my eBay listing here. I searched Fire King Jadeite mug. There are a couple different kinds of a handle. There's a D handle, which is shaped more like a D, and there's a C handle. Uh, let me just take that out because either way, it doesn't matter because the C handle and the D handle both they both sell. Okay, so yeah, I don't know about this one that's crazy high like that. Um, I always wonder. So here are some, these ones are different ones that have a like Philby mug that has like the label or maybe it has a print that's impress, um, imprinted on it, however they make it. Um, but it's this green kind of color, light green, kind of milky. And here you can see a set of six sold for $300, a set of eight for $225. Even solo ones, here you see some that have advertising, Piggly Wiggly, Masonic one, what is this one, a barbecue mug. These are in the 200s, but even as a lot, normally I don't lot mugs, but if I had a lot of green jadeite Fire King mugs, I would definitely lot them up. Um, so you can see that they are pretty desirable. Um, whether, like here you can see the C, handle looks like just like a little C and then the D handle is more like this black cat one that's kind of bigger so either way the price is amazing on them I'm trying to find one where it's just a solo fire you know, like a jadeite here we go so here's one that sold for $157 this again that Philby cup uh, and that one's got a chip on it too now I'm I'm not sure about the pattern and what exactly all that means all I know is because I honestly at this point I don't think it's that important I think if you saw a green jadeite Fire King mug, just get it, okay? So that is the first one to keep your eye out for. So the second thing to look out for with Fire King mugs, we saw some already with the jadeite, the jadeite ones that are advertising mugs. There are also white Fire King mugs that are advertising mugs. So if you see a Fire King mug with an ad on it for a certain company, it's worth looking up. I've had some that were so-so as far as price, um, and then there are some, as you see here, these jadeite ones that are selling for a lot. 
And then let's take a look at the the white ones. So here are, that's a lot of different ones. It's got a mix of advertising and others. There are, looks like Tony the Tiger. No, this is Exxon. So there's Exxon. They, they sold, these two mugs sold for $46. A McDonald's one sold for $50. So it's worth a look up if you find a white or jadeite Fire King mug with an ad on it. Some are going to be more desirable than others, but it's worth looking it up. The next Fire King mug to keep an eye out for are ones that are this turquoise blue color. This one's pretty desirable as well. So here's a set of three that sold for $134. There are some that also sell with the dishes, the bowls, and stuff like that that sold for $122. This one is not a Fire King. It just pulled up whenever I searched Fire King. Um, so yeah, as you can see, there are bowls, mugs, and they are definitely worth picking up. Here's three more, Fire King Blue Turquoise, $106. Before we go on, leave me a comment down below and let me know your best mug sale. Or if you're just getting started with this mug life, go down there and just type mug life. Let me know you're here. The next Fire King mug to keep an eye out for are Zodiac mugs. I tend to pick up Zodiac mugs anyway, just depending on the brand because they tend to sell. But Fire King Zodiac mugs sell also. So here are three that lighted up. A best offer was taken, but it was up at $129. And then these were on auction at 50, uh, that sold for $52. I don't generally do auctions. Here's another one, a Virgo mug that sold for $39.95. Best offer accepted. And then here are a few solo ones, a Pisces and Aquarius that sold for around $30. To me, I'm happy with a $30 mug sale. And then I think one of the holy grails of Fire King is the Snoopy Fire King mug. Some are more desirable than others. The Snoopy versus the Red Baron one is one of the more desirable ones, which was an amazing find for me at the Goodwill outlet because it cost me 10 cents. Please don't let me drop it. <laughs> it's going to be getting listed very soon. So as you can see here, there are a few people that have lotted theirs up together and put them on auction. Uh, this one sold, these two sold for $550 together for two mugs. And then here are three that sold for $330. Personally, I would have done Snoopy and the Red Baron by itself uh, because it can get $300 all by itself. So, yeah, so here you can see it sold for $300, $224. And then here's a lot of Noel mugs that sold for $211. There are some Snoopy ones that don't sell for as much, but pretty much if you find a Snoopy one, it's going to do okay. So let's search by ended recently. So here's a couple that sold for 40. Here's a Snoopy one that sold for 1550. Again, they did it on auction. I don't generally unless it's like this one that's probably going to go for close to $300, I might go ahead and just to list it for $300. Here's one that sold for $102, which I would be perfectly happy with, but I might honestly just put mine up at $300 and just wait for the buyer that just doesn't want to mess with an auction to, to get it for less because <laughs> I want to get $200 more and I'm willing to wait for it. So as you can see, some of the Snoopy ones sell for a little bit less, but still to me, a, an $18, $20 mug is still a pretty good mug, especially when you buy them for a dollar or less. And truly, I think some of these sales are a little bit low. They could have gotten quite a bit more. And here are just a few more. A Vote for Snoopy sell for 102. This one that's Snoopy and his Smokey Friends or something like that. He's wearing his camper hat, Ranger hat, sold for 63. And then Never Forget to Smile sold for $61. So while there are Fire King mugs that can sell for a lot of money, there are some that you want to be a little more careful with. Maybe look them up before you buy them. And those are just as important to identify as the really expensive good ones. So the first one that you want to really look at before you buy a bunch of them is this diamond pattern mug. So they can sell for a little bit more, but not always. The prices are kind of all over the place. So as you can see, there are some of these diamond pattern mugs that do okay. And then there are others that are just, you have to lot so many of them up to make a profit that it might not even be worth it. So it might be worth just looking it up to see if the color you've got is a desirable one. 
So this next one might be surprising that it landed in my pass or look up pile. And that is the Fire King fruit mugs. Now these can do well if you've got a set that you're lotting up like this set of one of each that sold for $75. But some of them really don't do that well. It's kind of hit or miss. So here again, you see that there is a set of one of each that sold for, you know, $75, $68. That's pretty good. But then when you're looking at, oh, I just have two orange ones. Well, best offer was taken off of $19.99. Some cherries, $19.99 for two. That's $10 a mug. And then here, $15 for these two, an apple and a lemon. So it kind of depends on the lotting you've got. Kind of depends on the price you can buy the mug for. If it's 10 cents, sure, I'll list it for $15. But if I have to spend $5 on a mug, like sometimes the regular Goodwill will sell their mugs for three, four, five dollars a piece, I might pass on that because that's a lot to go to like buy in to not get as much return on investment. So I say if you see the fruit ones, look it up, double check what you've got, and then kind of go with it in that way. So I would say see what you've got in front of you, see if you've got a full set. So with the fruit ones, I would say take a look at what's in front of you when you're at a thrift store garage sale. If you've got the full set, then go for it. If you're just looking at like two oranges, then you might wait and see like how much they're asking for the mug before you jump in and then find out, oh, I can only sell it for 10 bucks. So the next thing that you might want to look up or pass on even when you are looking at Fire King mugs are the bird ones. There are a couple birds that do okay, but then other bird mugs are not good ones at all. So this Bird of Paradise one is a good one to find. There are rare tropical bird mugs that you can see lotted up and sold for almost $200, but the game bird ones don't do that well. They're like ducks and pheasants and things like that. Um, this is a set of seven that sold for $27. So those would be a pass. And then here's a lot of four of like chickadees and red birds. Four of them sold for $30. So that's less than $10 a mug. Again, it would really depend on the amount. Like if I bought these for 40 cents, 10 cents a piece, okay, 30 bucks, that's pretty good. But if I'm buying them at any more than maybe a dollar, it would be too much for me to go in on. The next ones you might want to look up or pass on are just regular striped mugs. So here's a lot of six that sold for $32.99. These just kind of, they look like diner mugs sort of, that sold for $24. And then another striped lot that sold for $25. I hope you found this video helpful. Keep an eye out for more videos like this coming from me because we're going to be talking more about what mugs to pick up. So make sure you've hit that bell and the subscribe button so you don't miss any of those mug life videos. I'm going to get you selling mugs if it's the last thing I do. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye, everybody.